Everybody, let's talk about the prophetic word again. Today we're going to go to 2 Corinthians 4, 7, and then 1 Corinthians 1, 26 to 29, and then back over to Hebrews 11, 6. So let's begin in 2 Corinthians 4, 7. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellence of the power may be of God and not of us. There are some people listening to this video that are making decisions based on earthen vessels rather than the treasure that's in the vessel. And we have to know the difference. God wants you to know the difference in this prophetic word. As believers, we know from the context of this scripture that the treasure, this treasure, as Paul is writing to the Corinthian church, is Jesus Christ. And we are the earthen vessels. But many times we make decisions, and where many people listening to this video are making decisions based on this their earthen vessel themselves. Jesus is not a part of the decisions that we make. And the Lord is saying that there is decisions that you are making that are crucial to Jesus being involved. The Word of God, the Word made flesh and dwelt among us, needs to be the reason why we do what we do, not ourselves, not our earthen vessels. And he goes on to say in 1 Corinthians 1, 26 to 29, the reason why. The earthen vessel, which is us, has a job description. This is our job description as earthen vessels. For you see your calling, brethren, that not many wise according to the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. But God has chosen the foolish things of the world to put to shame the wise. And God has chosen the weak things of the world to put to shame the things which are mighty. And the base things of the world and the things which are despised, God has chosen. And the things which are not to bring to nothing the things that are, that no flesh should glory in his presence. That's the reason why the treasure should be the emphasis in our lives. Jesus should be that emphasis not our earthen vessel. Our earthen vessel doesn't have anything. Again, I've said this verse, it goes comes up in my mind almost every video lately, that in me that is in my flesh, in my earthen vessel, dwells no good thing. Without Jesus, the treasure, but we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellence of the power may be of God and not of us. So when we're making decisions and we want to associate ourselves with particular people because of the decision that we're trying to make, we're trying to associate, God is saying, remember the wise of the flesh, the mighty of the flesh, the noble of the flesh are not called. But God has chosen the foolish things of the world to put to shame the wise. God has chosen the weak things of the world to put to shame the things which are mighty. The reason why he's chosen those things is so that the treasure can be placed in that sort of earthen vessel. When someone is wise in their own eyes, and they're mighty in their own eyes, and they're noble in their own eyes, that they're good enough, they are not, they are no longer a vessel to be used. The Lord will not enter that sort of life and remain because that person already has a God, already has a Savior, and they are their God. They are their Savior. So we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellence of the power may be of God and not of us. Hebrews 11, 6 says, But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is the rewarder of those who diligently seek him. In us, that is in our flesh, dwells no good thing. But when that treasure is placed in that flesh, in that earthen vessel, then we become good. Then we become of value. Because treasure is now there. The treasure, Jesus himself. And God wants you to remember that today. God bless you and have a great day.